Hey guys, Rio here, and welcome back to another hashtag daily tut daily tutorial here on Tiga Designs. Um, today, I'm going to be going over how to create a custom layout in Adobe After Effects so that uh, you can arrange everything how you want it to be arranged, so it's easy to access. I have access to Motion V2 right here. I have my preview composition pane over here, my project panel, effect controls, um, nice open space for my timeline, all that good stuff. And I've even left a little uh, section over here that's open uh, so I can pull up uh, YouTube. Sometimes I'll pull up like Netflix and stuff while I'm designing so I can watch something while I'm waiting for RAM previews and such. Um, so really just customize your layout to maximize your, your peak efficiency, I guess you would say. Um, and you know, <laughs> maybe procrastinate a little bit, but hey, uh, that's, <laughs> that's on you to figure out. Um, but yeah, today I'm just going to be going over how to do a custom layout. It's a little bit different in CC 2017 than it is uh, with um, CC 2014. I'm using CC 2014, so things may look a tad different, but the same mechanics really apply. Um, all that'll be different is um, there'll be a new section in this, uh, in these, like the menu thing on each panel. There'll be like three lines and you'll be able to turn it into a tab. Um, as opposed to a regular panel. So there'll be that section. Um, so if it, if like, uh, things are stacked, like you see these two, they're stacked, but one of them's like not showing content until you click on it, then you're going to want to toggle whether or not it's a tab. Um, but that's really the only difference with, uh, CC 2017. If you guys really want, I'll make another version of this tutorial for 2017, but I don't really use 2017. So I'll just uh, do the tutorial in uh, 2014 and hope that you guys can fill in that one tiny gap. Um, but other than that, most everything's the same. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up a, a different instance of Adobe After Effects. I went over how to open up multiple versions of After Effects at once in my previous tutorial yesterday. Um, so you can go and definitely check that out. I'll link it at the end screen of this video. Um, but this is probably what your layout is going to look like. Um, if you just installed After Effects or you haven't really messed around with any customization, very open, very plain. Uh, it's really hard to get to things that aren't on the screen right now. Um, so let's go ahead and fix that. The first thing, um, let me minimize this guy so, uh, it doesn't get in the way. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and start showing all the panels that you want to be visible on the screen at once. This is really up to you, but I'll show you the basics of it. So I like to have the align panel open that allows you to align panels or align layers to like the center of your composition and such. I like to have audio open, um, character definitely, uh, effects and presets is a must to be honest. Um, info here. And then, um, let's see, let's keep adding stuff. Uh, the tracker and wiggler, I don't really have open. Um, paragraph, I definitely have open. Um, and I think that's about it. I do have motion V2 as well. That's a script. Um, I can make a tutorial on that, but I trust you guys. For those of you who do have motion V2, understand what it does. Um, and then I think that's about it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then maybe explode shape layers I have too. Um, so I think that's pretty much all the panels. Um, you'll notice that some of them will be undocked like this one and you can go ahead and click and uh, hold on the tab and drag it around to dock it somewhere. So that's like the basic of how things work. And, um, if you accidentally grabbed it up like I did and you don't want to start docking yet, you can just drag it up to the very top and you'll see all selections go away and then it'll just leave it as a, as a undocked uh, window. That's what these are called. Um, so what you can start doing now that you've shown all the windows or I guess panels in this case that you want on your screen is just really start rearranging them. Um, so I'll just kind of go off the same layout as I have in this guy right here. So starting off with explode shape layers, I'm going to drag him up until I see like the very um, top bit. Let me zoom in here so you guys can really see what I'm doing. So I'm going to drag the explode shape layers up to the top right here. And I'm not going to drag it up here. Dragging up here will make it into a tab like this in the same panel. I want to dock it above where these are. So I'm going to go ahead and not place it in the middle, but I'm going to place it um, at the top bit right here. 
And then, of course, you can go ahead and rearrange this so that uh, you can see everything in your panel. And then uh, the audio I like to do off to the side here. And I don't really need to see like all the decibel levels. I just mainly show it that uh, show just where I can see like the levels so that I know if it's clipping or not. Um, you can do without audio. I mean, I could probably do without the audio panel, but I still have it because reasons. Um, effects and presets, I usually like to dock over here. And you'll see that sizing does get messed up as you start docking stuff. So I really like to put everything where I want it first and then resize everything um, later. So I'm just not going to matter. Uh, I'm not going to care about resizing these quite yet. I'm just going to get everything where I need it to be and then I'll start resizing and making things look pretty. Um, so that's looking okay. Um, the align and paragraph are a little bit... Um, I don't like things shortening my timeline down here. I usually like to make my timeline full length um, so that I have more room to work with. So I'll get, go ahead and pop these guys underneath where the explode shape layer script is. And um, usually a line and paragraph I can keep uh, tabbed next to each other because I don't really need um, both of these open at the same time. Um, and that looks pretty a-okay. Um, let's uh, open our effect controls because that's another one that you kind of need to have open. Um, and by default, effect controls are kind of on the same tab as your project. Um, I don't like that. I like to have both visible at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my effect controls over here. Now you notice that uh, now when we make a new composition, so I'm going to make a new comp, um, the composition's kind of small. It's kind of squished. So here's where the half screen layout comes out, uh, comes into play. Uh, what I like to do here is go, I click the menu right here and go to um, where it says undock panel. And that will turn your composition viewer into a floating window that you can move around. And what I like to do then is take this guy, uh, take my entire After Effects, snap it over to the side right there and then I like to bring my composition viewer over to the top left, um, resize it a little bit, and uh, then drag AE to fill the rest of the screen, like such. And that way, um, everything else over in this section of After Effects fits perfectly, and I still have uh, tons of room to work with my composition viewer. Um, the only downside of undocking it is that when you press tilde while hovering over it, instead of, uh, because it's undocked, if you do that, if I press tilde over the project panel, it maximizes it. Same with effect controls, same with the effects of preset. So the tilde button maximizing panels, it uh, doesn't work when it's undocked. So this is the size that it'll always be, which evidently I'm, I'm pretty cool with. So uh, that's how you undock things. And then from here, it's just up to you uh, resizing and making things, uh, making sure you have enough room for everything and keeping things aesthetic. So that's that's like a, that's essentially the basics. I mean, it doesn't get much more than that. Of course, um, take it into your own hand, figure out what works for you. I only made this layout so that I could like um, have windows over in this area, over in the lower left. Um, sometimes I like to have my file uh, like Windows Explorer open down there so I can view all my files while working um, and a few other things. But th I mean, that's essentially the gist of it. I'm not going to go much further because the rest is up to you. The rest is definitely up to you, but that's that's how you create custom layouts. And then if you want to save it, uh, say you want to come back to it later, um, you go up here to Window and then Workspace and then go ahead and click New Workspace I'll name this tutorial. And uh, now, every time you go to window and you uh, click on tutorial, say you were on standard for a little bit, if you click back to tutorial, it'll bring you right back to this layout. A few things might be uh, like missized, like that might look like that, or, you know, uh, the sizing does get messed up quite frequently. Like things might be pushed over like that and you have to like resize them. But uh, that's a small price to pay to have, uh, you know, have to keep these awesome layouts saved. Um, and one last thing, 
is that if you always want After Effects to open up with uh, the main window docked to the side like this, like normally After Effects will open up like full screen. Um, so if you want it to open up like half half screen like I have it, you have to basically uh, get it out of full screen and then without snapping. So snapping is when you push it to the side and you see like um, you see like the snapping animation like that. Uh, if you snap it, it won't open again that way. Um, so what you have to do is you have to make sure that you size it accordingly without accidentally snapping it to one of the edges. And that gets really hard when you bring it down here and you have to like get really close without touching. <laughs> and I think that's good. Um, and then of course size to your liking. And then basically what you have to do is you have to manually go over here to file and then exit. If you click the X, it won't open in uh, the uh, After Effects won't open to the size next time you open it. So file and then exit. Um, and that will save save that, uh, it'll save that sizing of the window for you. Um, and you can come right back to the way you were when you left off last time and just open it up and you have your custom layout. So that's pretty much the breakdown. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode of hashtag daily tut, daily tutorial, uh, please make sure to leave a like. Let's me know you guys are digging the tutorial and uh, helps the video get out to more people that may find it useful and as always you can um, you know manually share this video with uh, people you think may benefit from it uh, if you have anyone that you know that works in After Effects a lot that uh, maybe doesn't know about this uh, definitely go ahead and share this video with them and I'm sure they'd thank you for helping them out um, but that's all I have to say um, not sure if I want to ramble or not, but uh, I usually, I'm so bad at closing tutorials, geez. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another daily tutorial. Um, and as always, stay awesome. Take it easy. Peace.